This is the Friday afternoon Kiso Vlog Network, and now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, Jim, I sure do. You're 20, 25 over 9. I'm copying you a direct uh, right from southern Indiana. And uh, if you're copying me, okay, I have something that you might uh, get a kick out of. Go ahead. Uh, Roger, sir, I'm copying you on my local antenna. I'm having some difficulty, it looks like, with my... Uh, the internet uh, to this afternoon, we'll be working on that, trying to get our four uh, SDR receivers up. But uh, go ahead, what you got for us? No, K, K1G, said L. Well, two things. Uh, I have one of uh, BK2SR. Uh, He's located in uh, more or less southeast Australia. He's just south of the capital of Australia at Canberra. And the other one, I have Captain Mike at 37,000 feet. Uh, with, uh, he was traveling at about 360 miles per hour over the ground with a tailwind and a temperature of 70 below zero Fahrenheit or minus 55. But here is this morning, uh, here is this morning, uh, the, uh, you know, the 6th, the 6th of November 2020, and this is, uh, uh, uh Chris, VK2 is for, uh, Near uh, South Canberra, I think. Thank you very much for joining here. So, uh, very good to hear everybody on the machine. And uh, getting into a warm spring here with Charlie, but it's been a very wet spring up here. 130 millimeters of rain for October, so uh, very, very uh, wet spring. But it's got everything's green here now, and uh, all the reservoirs are pretty full. K1G's now on the blue. If they go ahead now, we k Okay, now that uh, was Chris. Now here is, uh, uh, let's see, here is Captain Mike yesterday as he was traveling from Sacramento, California to uh, Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania, and uh, here he is at 37,000 feet. Join us here uh, with the Alpha 3 after W-30, we can be on KX-4 with you, Charlie. Okay. I thought we're at uh, 370 just uh, on the southern part of Chicago, with about 630 miles from uh, Philadelphia, uh, which is our destination. Uh, getting in there about uh, just after 2 o'clock, and uh, we have uh, minus uh, 55 degrees, and we're doing uh, just over 500 knots. Uh, K1 GZL from K84. Okay, could you copy that, Jim? KC9 uh, BKV, K1 GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie, great copy on that. And you're uh, copying both of those on uh, 40 meters, is that a Roger? No, uh, BK2SR was uh, uh, right on 40. It was on 40 yesterday. Uh, KX4WC Aeronautical Mobile was on 20. And uh, we were on uh, 14 uh, 222. 14 222. And before he signed off, he crawled up to 40 over 9 here with 400 watts and just an 8-foot piece of wire uh, near the channel. It floored me. Go ahead. Oh, Roger, Roger. Well, it sounded, both sounded really good, Roger. Well, as long as it's uh, Q5, that's, uh, that's what counts. Yes, sir. Well, how's the weather been up that way, Charlie? Are you getting uh, those heat waves coming in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, very, very uh, warm today. Right now it's 6, oh, 60 degrees. And a couple of days after the month started, we had seven and a half inches of snow. Seven and a half inches of snow. Uh, and that didn't last, uh, it went, the rest of it went off yesterday afternoon. Went off yesterday uh, afternoon. So for the whole season, we picked up, uh, if you add them all up, uh, 24 inches of snow. But right now, the normal high is 42 degrees or plus five Celsius. And uh, right now it is 60. That's the high for the day. And partly sunny, partly cloudy. So this is way far and above normal. Most of the state is suffering from more or less a drought, especially in the southeastern part of New Hampshire. However, up here uh, we are not having uh, a drought. Uh, the month of October, where we normally get uh, close to four inches of rain, 
we had uh, about eight and a third inches of rain, and that is the equivalent of third uh, of uh, eight and a third inches of rain came down in October. So we're not uh, lacking. We've had periods uh, a month or so ago where it got dry for quite a while, then all of a sudden everything. Uh, uh, all the rain came uh, crashing down. That uh, snowstorm when we, on um, October 17th, when we had that 17 inches of heavy, heavy wet snow, uh, the equivalent uh, of rain uh, in that thing must have been, uh, uh, oh boy, I would say uh, two and a half to three inches of rain just uh, in, in all that heavy, heavy wet snow. Try to lift that on the shovel, you almost needed a ball day. The <laughs> KC9, BKV, K1G, ZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Now you you're gonna have to take it easy as far as uh, getting out there and uh, shoveling that snow, you know, because uh, well, <laughs> neither one of us are, are are getting any younger, you know. No, yeah, but uh, and I try not to think of age. Actually, I know this sounds nuts. As long as my sugar count, as long as my sugar count is okay, as long as that is okay, I, I don't even hardly get out of breath shoveling heavy snow. I feel good. I feel good, but the slightest drop of my sugar count, boy, I feel so weak, uh, I can't do anything until I elevate my um, my blood sugar. So I have to watch it very carefully. In fact, if I'm doing a lot of exercise on one day, the next day or the day after, I'm apt to, uh, even though I'm supposed to be a type 1 diabetic, I'll suddenly produce my own insulin on top of uh, of the regular insulin, and then uh, then I get in trouble. So I have all these parameters I have to watch, and I've been taking daily insulin for 55 years or more, five, five years, and uh, it, uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, Roger, Roger, yes. Well, the morning uh, <laughs> ritual and the uh, the evening ritual kind of, you know, uh, keeps you uh, straight with the numbers, I guess, Roger. Oh, yeah, I have to keep track of those numbers uh, all the time, uh, Jim, because if I don't, if I don't, uh, I, uh, I can get in trouble. So I try to plan everything out. Uh, after all, I'm only 88 years old, go ahead. <laughs> Roger that, sir. Well, listen, uh, Charlie, I appreciate your dropping by. Always uh, a pleasure, uh, and you have a really good uh, weekend coming up, Roger. Okay, uh, real fine, uh, Jim, and we should catch you next uh, week, and here's how you're coming in. I think A1G on the group. I got it, pal. We take two sugar radio. Uh, here you are. Charlie, I appreciate you dropping by. Always a pleasure. Uh, you have a really good uh, weekend coming up, Roger. Okay, I hope that came through. Uh, 73, Jim, and uh, we'll see you next week. By that time, it's going to be a lot cooler than it is now. K1 G's and L. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Three's up that 73 up that way, sir, and you have a great uh, afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net. My name is Jim, better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. We uh, record live from now till 5, uh, so if you have a radio you want to check out, uh, give us a shout. We'll record and then post the whole thing up on YouTube, and uh, you can drop by uh, and uh, check it out. Uh, the uh, the way to get there is the call sign, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by today's date, 11620. And that will take you directly to this recording. If you want to check out our QSO Vlog uh, group uh, recordings, uh, we have about 1,350. Uh, you just uh, do uh, KC9 VKV, and that will take you to our QSO Vlog uh, uh, n um, QSO page, and there we you have uh, 1,350 uh, some odd QSOs. Well, anyway, uh, we are uh, standing by listening. Anybody who needs uh, air check, uh, give me a shout. KC9VKV listening.